Right, the time has come to correct all of the faults with this thing. First off, I've taken off the heater transformer. There it is. What else are we going to do? Right, yes, yeah, so clean the controls, replace that. I might even treat the, uh, the wood effect veneer that's on here, you know? Uh, I think it's made up just chipboard. It's got some nice wood on there, some effect veneer. So we're gonna see if we can treat that as well as a nice touch. First things first, let's look for a transformer that can fit into this plate. I'm gonna go and check my transformer spares and I'll see if I can find anything that matches close to around nine volts or so. Fantastic, catch you in a moment. Right, well I found myself a transformer I can use. This one actually has a 100 volt winding on it on the primary side. So we got 6.3, we have got a 12 volt winding, 140 volt winding, 300 volt winding. But if you look on the primary, it will do 100 to 110. So I'm thinking I could potentially get away with using 12 volt winding. And if I select 110, if there's only 100 volts coming out of it, the voltage should drop some. Anyway, I'll give that a go now, and uh, we can see, uh, we'll see what happens. So I have to see whether or not I can get the transformer in there. And if I can, I'm gonna have to see if I can mount one of the brackets. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a used, it's a very used transformer and it's out of something. Unfortunately, I don't have one that is the same size as this. Um, but you know, we're working with what we have, so. Right, well I'll, um, I think the most important thing is make sure we can get this in there and once we can get it in there, then we can wire it up. Right, well here we are then, I've got the transformer mounted. If I just turn our power off, I've just been testing it now. I'm, I should have really done that on camera, never mind. I'll, I'll show you guys in a moment. Here's what I've done. You know, I've just put some decent wire here and wired that into the original place. I'm thinking I might mount the transformer upside down. Don't want all of the voltage to drop out. <gasps> um, yeah, I might mount it upside down. The problem is there's just loads of sodding wire all over the place. So it's quite hard to manipulate things to where you want them to go. So I'm thinking, you know, like that. Looks a bit stupid, doesn't it? But you know, I've, I'm working with the space I have. I've moved the, what I believe is either, I think it's vertical output or audio. I'm not too sure. I don't think there needs to be an audio transformer. So I think if this is ver uh, uh, vertical output, that probably makes the most sense. Right, I'm going to get some um, nuts and bolts and mount that here. Here we are then, here's our little heater transformer installed. As you can see, that's how I've wired it. I've left some slack on the on our wire, just so if it needs to be pulled out in the future, it can be done with ease. A couple nuts and bolts. Unfortunately, the I don't have a washer the right size, so I've had to make use of two washers, but you know, it's securely in there, it's not going anywhere. I've moved our frame output transformer, as you can see, we've moved it over here. And if we just get this, and of course, it looks marvelous. Right, so I'm just going to do a quick, quick spring clean of the inside, check out our HT volts, um, do a couple of things off camera, I want to, get this done um, and then that should be it really oh I never showed you guys doing the grayscale setup oh, well never mind you know what a grayscale looks like you just you know find a uh, you could even, you could do it two ways I like to get I mean we can ha just have a sorry oops you know grayscale something like this or we can just have a white raster and um, turn all the gun colours, gun A1 drives down, cathode drives down, and then just slowly increase them until you get, a, you know, a grayscale or a white background. Um, I think it's the best way I could describe it to you. Right, now with that said, all right, I'll uh, give this a spring clean, put the back on, and I think we're done, to be honest. I don't think anything really, any else 
other than the work I've done needs to be completed. So with that said, I'll see you in a moment. And just like that, we're powered on and we're all ready to go, pretty much. I've added some linseed oil to uh, just the top and the sides of the cabinet and the front as well, just these front parts. It will just protect the wood some and they potentially bring the colour back or make it look slightly more vibrant than it is. So I'm just waiting for this to dry under the light. The picture looks absolutely stunning for an analogue set, to be honest. Absolutely stunning. I've given the front controls a bit of a polish, the face a bit of a polish. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm really pleased with it. Really nice restoration. True blacks, you know, general Sony stuff. And, you know, really decent uh, frequency response. Really decent frequency response. I think we're on some BBC One program. Most readers of my guidebook satisfied themselves with a glimpse of Chakra apart from the train. Anyway, but the upper crust of with that said, I suppose, you know, that's it now. I just, I'm just going to enjoy it. There is one more thing I would like to do and check the plug, but I don't have to do that on camera, do I? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll uh, catch you next time. Bye.